What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw a princess. Now a princess to me is a fully fledged character and, and the first thing you're going to need, the first, the very first thing that you're going to need when you're drawing a character is the pose. Because you don't want to start to draw the princess and like make a lot of last minute decisions on yourself on what the body will do, what position the hands will be at, all that stuff. So you want to determine all that before going to draw your character. I've done that already with this stick figure here. I have the pose in place and I know what hand movements I'm going to use for the hands. But for this video, we're going to start from the head and work our way down and then worry about clothes and everything later. But with that being said, let's go. So as you can see, I got the head at sort of like a tilt. And if I hold it up like this, the head is going to be like facing down this way. So just keeping that in mind if you plan on doing this same pose for your character. But the head is pretty much drawn already, but if you do want to learn how to draw the face, I got videos on how to draw the face, face at a three quarter view, face at a profile, and how to draw face shapes. So links to those videos will be in the description down below, and there will be a link to one of those videos up here in the card. But we got the face shape already drawn, now we can uh, start with the eyes this time. And then right here where these two center lines intersect, that's where I'm going to draw the nose. And then the mouth. And then I'm going to have her looking at the viewer. So she's going to be looking towards us. So I'm going to try to make an eye position that, you know, reflects that. Okay. Now we can also make the eyebrows. And then the eyeliner or mascara. I keep forgetting what this is called, but we're going to make that on the eyes. Okay, the neck is already drawn as well. And now we can begin to construct the body. So let's move on down here. So the body that I'm going to draw is going to be at a three quarter view. So we're going to be seeing more of this side of the body than the other side. So let's construct the body shape. Okay, and then while we're up here, we can begin to draw the arms and hands. So right here off the neck where this line kind of goes up to the shoulder, we can have it kind of curving up and then following this guideline. And then when I draw this arm, I'm going to have it curve out and then kind of curve back in so it makes something like a taper, not, but not exactly a taper. And the hand is going to be a little bit challenging because it's going to be like the hand on her hip, but we can wait to... But we can wait till we draw the rest of the body before we do that hand. This other one we can do. So again, we're going to curve down from the neck, then curve back up, but the hand will be covering that. So uh, yeah, curve down, then curve back up, and then follow the guideline. And I'm going to stop there because this part of the arm will kind of overlap what we're going to draw here. So that's why I don't want to put too much graphite around this area. So we're just going to stop there.
and now we can erase that line. All right, and now it overlaps, will be just true. So yeah, just keep that in mind. And now we can draw in the hand. The reason I sped up this part of the drawing is because this hand movement is uh, a little bit challenging to draw, especially for beginners. But if you are interested in learning about how to draw hands, I made two videos on drawing hands. Links to those videos will be in the card and in the description down below. So just letting you guys know that I did that for a good reason. So let's move back down to the body. And since we're drawing a princess, a princess usually has like a dress going on. So I'm not gonna focus too much on the legs specifically. So you see how the legs are at a certain position here? I did that so that when I draw the dress, I can determine what position the feet will be at. Because if I left the legs out and then I just place the feet anywhere, then it would look weird. I mean, depending on how you place them, but I just drew these lines to help me like connect the dots from this part of the torso to the feet. So that way I don't wind up misplacing the feet. But if the dress you draw doesn't go all the way to the bottom, then you pretty much have a guide to help you. But anyways, we can begin to draw the dress. So when I draw dresses, I like to come off of the torso here, like where I stopped at earlier. It makes sort of like a dress shape. And then I have, and then I like to add like a few curves to it. I know that line looks weird. So we got the initial shape of the dress drawn already. We can focus on any decorations or accessories once we've finished like the rest of the illustration, but we still aren't finished with the drawing portion of it. We gotta finish the feet. So of course, when you're drawing a princess, you can have the dress going all the way to the bottom so the feet aren't visible. But the way I drew the dress, I like to make the feet visible because that's just something I want to draw. But like every artist is different, so you can choose to have the feet visible. You can choose to have not have it visible. It's up to you. But I'm going to quickly sketch in some shoes for this princess. Okay, so we got the feet drawn now, so let's zoom back out. So yeah, that's what the princess is pretty much looking like so far. Let's go back to this hand. I'm gonna just quickly sketch in this hand movement. All right, so let's zoom back into the top of the head. And it looks like we gotta give her some hair. I'm just gonna sketch in like any kind of hairstyle here. And then I kind of have the hair kind of coming back here. So I'm going to add this like little shadow here. So that way you don't confuse it with the arm. Okay, and then I'm just going to add like a little bit of eye shadow here. Give her like a touch up. Maybe you probably can't see that, but I added a little bit, a little bit of shading up here. And now what I see on princesses a lot is a tiara. Not every princess has a tiara. Not every princess has a tiara, but I'm just gonna draw one. But I wanna consider that when you're drawing a tiara, consider the tilt of the head. Are you gonna start out with a shape like this or a shape that does this? So I'm gonna change that shape because I don't want it all the way down there. I'm gonna have it on the head. Alright, so that took some time, but we got the TR drawn now. And now we can focus on the clothes, the dress, and the accessories that we want to add, and all that stuff. So if this is your favorite part of this process, then you can just say we made it to the good stuff. So let's start up at the torso and then come back down. So let's zoom back into the torso. Now what can we add here? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some sleeves. But the end of these sleeves will kind of be loose as if they're like a, a very tiny skirt in a way. I hope, hope that makes sense, but I'm about to show you what I mean. Something like that. And then we're not going to see much of that on this side, but I think I'll try to get a few lines in place. And then we can have like a large, like a U-neck collar or neckline. And then if you want, if you have room around this area, you can draw like a little necklace or like an amulet. I'm going to have it rest on the center lines that I drew earlier. And 
And then for a princess dress or any kind of dress, I like to add like a little bow around this area, like a strip with a bow on it. Like I just love adding this as an accessory because I just like the way it looks. And then let's come to the bottom and we can add whatever pattern we want to the dress. So I'm just going to add like a little wavy pattern down here. I'm going to draw some dots and there we got a little pattern going on here. And then let's zoom back out so we can see the entire thing one more time. And there we go. That's a really good looking princess. So I think we're about done here. But of course, if you want to add any other accessories or if you want to change up anything, then right now will be a good time because as of now, I'm going to finalize the illustration and come back to you guys. Alright, and that's how you draw a princess. So if you liked my video and you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.